that is the culture of the Silicon Valley. I mean, we're very lucky because we're in this very rich environment where people value creativity and innovation and using that to make a difference. Stanford has a lot of people with vision. And, you know, again, it's difficult to translate ideas from the bench to the bedside. Um, and so you need to have people who see the vision and share the vision with you because you can get tripped up along the way. And so having uh, a community and the backing of the community where everyone believes in the vision is really, really important. And we don't see obstacles. I think a lot of the, what the Valley does is see beyond problems. You get rewarded for doing basic science, you know, you get bit more famous. <laughs> and so the PhDs in the lab are much more interested in doing the basic science, but these days it seems that the researchers in the laboratory are also very interested in taking their discoveries to the bench. When you're a, a scientist, you understand what the possibilities are, and when you're a physician, you actually see what the limitations are. And there's limitations because there's concerns about safety, um, but and you can't just treat people the way that you treat mice, but you have to be able to go incrementally and also see where you really want to make the innovations. I mean, where, what's really the sweet pot, spot and what are the real needs that you can make a difference in? There's a lot of cross-fertilization and it's accelerated um, much more quickly than, than I had expected and it's already being translated into uh, clinical trials. This is the most exciting time for me because we are now taking biologics that were developed and I can see that we're applying them to patients and it's gonna make what I do, which is to do blood and marrow transplantation, much safer and more effective. And you know, I can see there's a new era coming.